I'm this cool lounge singer lady. Yeah, like like this looks like a this looks like a Devil May Cry style. Like you're doing like a sick taunt after stabbing someone with your That's sword. A sad taunt. No, I agree. It's a sad taunt, but it doesn't it look like you're like kind of pulling on your coat a little also, bit. Also, why'd she murder that man? Well, if only there was an entire game to find out why. Hey, everybody, I'm Tony. My pronouns are they them. I'm Chad. Pronouns are he him. We're playing Transistor today. Woo uh, Tony's favorite battle royale that Tony's talked to me a lot about. So I'm very yep. excited for this. Yeah. So we're bringing you some six strats. Uh, they nerfed the transistor again. <laughs> which, uh, so Chaz is on the controls. I'm on the controls. I I am on the chatterbox. Mm, well, I mm, am mm. the chatterbox. Okay, but we well, can, you we are, can. but you'll be doing the speaking. Yeah, and by part. and by the way, the way we'll be playing this is that largely when there is dialogue, we're gonna shut up because I like this game, and damn it, you're gonna like it too. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna shut up. No, 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 I'm not talking about you, Taz. I'll, sh I'll shut up. I'll shut up for both of us. Okay. Okay. Challenge uh, accepted. By all means. Hey, Red. Oh, hey. So We're we must be Red then. With this, are we? Uh, and that was our transistor talking. Great, is that the sword? Yes, the sword is the transistor. Great. Come on, pull. Just, just, pull, just pull this sword out of that body. Oh, neat. one kills today. <laughs> I know. Together again. So, and now I have close ranged, long then, range. Get the hang of this. Yep. Killer. And uh, much like Bastion, be prepared to listen to this guy. I, I should look up this voice actor's name because he has. There are some. I never played Bastion. Oh, interesting. Oh, go check out that gown, by the way. Like should closer. I? Go closer. Well, progress, well, is, it that, that, is that like a vital path? No, it's not a vital path. Okay, how do I interact with it? Uh, you press A. But isn't that Frost Mike? It's Stab? No. It, yep. What a nice. You're still in one piece. That's all that matters. So are we in the reality or the cyber world? Don't worry about it. So, yeah, he, he just has that one of those voices that it's just like, that's a voice. Like, not not like you, you recognize it so much, just like, that's a good voice actor. Hmm, hmm. Yikes. That Fuck you. They want you back, I bet. They want you back. So I also don't remember the plot to this game. Great. But. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, you got you got to get up there. Um. Nice. Okay, let's go. Nice. On, okay, that's where this is going. I think I know where can I destroy these? Uh, I believe. Yeah, you can eventually. Neat. And the breach just does way more damage. But it's slower. It's much slower. Do I get evasive powers? You do get evasive powers. I think there are a couple of kinds of evasive powers. I'm for this. I want dodges. Uh, that you will get your dodges. We're not really to the combat system yet. Uh, you'll have to come closer. Nothing here. Oh. There, there's nothing there. <laughs> 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 I can already tell this LP's gonna have a lot of that. Look, don't fret. Just. Oh. So you have this tactics view, okay? So you'll notice the top. You have a certain amount of maneuvering. So you A is your crash, right? You got yes. left trigger. You're, now your breach it pierces enemies. Yep. And you may notice crash normally does 50 damage and breach normally does 100 damage, but your breach just did 150 da or your uh, yeah, your breach did 150 damage there because you crashed. And uh normally you do need like the full space on that bar. Now. And enemies will move in reaction to what you're doing. So sometimes your plan doesn't work out perfectly. Oh, well, mine always do. Well, wow. Look. Sorry, I meant the royal yore. Yeah, God and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, this is interesting. I can see where this is going to be good. So, I don't seem to have full control over directions. Uh, At least in this mode. Oh, do you, do you mean like it's not like proper 360 control? Yeah. They're like, like what, eight directions? Eight, yeah. I wonder if the same is true of a mouse. Hmm. I don't think it's really hey, important. It's all mice. Also, I hope you like good music. I hope oh, you like good art. Like, look at all that. So, Super Giant Games. We're on the edge of town, a hundred blocks away. They've had this wonderful upward momentum where Bastion, great game, especially for its time, great game. Then they came out Transistor, fantastic, great. Then Pyre. Even better. They well, keep one upping themselves. Well, I don't know the that. Dude, Pyre is so fucking mm. good. Why don't you play on the channel then? Get as far from there as possible. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to play Pyre on the channel. All right, so we got to get away from the city. Okay, because like the electronics have gotten nuts or something. 
<laughs> what did you say? Because the electronics have gone nuts or something? Yes, wow. something like that. There are, well, you might even say there's a block party up ahead. Uh, hold, oh, hold B to aim breach. Cool. And I guess, yeah. So you'll how probably- I, How do I un- So go ahead and just let go. Like, right, so, and then left trigger. And then move. Yep. Yes, good. Now you will become, become the, the red. Oh, okay, the it man. can't go incredibly. Okay. Yeah, breach breach does has like a distance, um, so you, so you will need to be specific about it. <laughs> there you go. I think that will work. And remember to collect it. So the the little process, like the creeps or the whatever those things are, they don't really do much right now, but they okay. also don't leave behind the thing. I see. Your current level's one. Okay. Levels are important in this game. Uh, she's dead. Okay. So come. So that's plat L. Oh. Disposition explosive. Processed seventy-seven percent. You okay? Hmm. I see. Sure. So we're talking to like her uh, her ghost. Yeah, kind of. I think it, her ghost and the shell ghost is essentially. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and hit X. Intersection. Let's see. Oh, that's fun. It is fun. Oh, but the fun has only just begun. So, two forecasts available, is that important for me? Which tomorrow's <laughs> tomorrow's forecast is another day in Cloud Bank. How would you like it? Uh, you can say, uh, which climate is to your liking? Not even on the ballot. Miles carried clouds. Thank you for voting. Results. Wow. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Were you the tiebreaker? No, I wanted mild scattered clouds. Oh, oh, I see. Where were Bunch we? Bunch of bullshit. Watch oh out. shit. So this is a great time to try out scattered. Uh, which, by the way, it's gonna do. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, so whoopsie. I. Yeah, you can left trigger, left trigger, left trigger. Keep going. No, don't, don't. You're still breaching, so keep left triggering. No, I'm Xing. I'm sparking. Uh, but do you see? Oh, how never you breached? mind. Now yeah, I can. There. Now I can yes. space read. Yes. So I think they were. He's moved to the left. Yeah. So spark it won't do as much damage as breach, but it's a big area of effect. You know, so if, you know we got some good basic spells going on. I think I think spark will explode as soon as it hits something. I'm pretty sure. Gross. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Disgusting. Yeah, after these early ones, you kind of can just whap them really hard. And uh, oh, oh shit. Yeah, there's a, there's a friend. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't press A. I pressed A. Yeah, there's like a recharge time. I see. Re remember, all great games have a bar on the bottom where you have to wait uh, for your spells to recharge. Like Final Fantasy VIII, the best Final Fantasy game. Uh, go ahead and hold the left bumper. That's right I bumper. I'm left bumpering. All right, wait, right bumper? Right bumpering. Um, okay, we haven't unlocked that ability yet. <laughs> good, good. It's a good ability. In fact, I don't even know if it's an ability. You'll see. You'll see and go, wow, Tony, you're so cool. That's an ability that exists. Oh, shit. Wow. There you That's go. Right. Exploration. All the stuff that Tony would not let me do in Hyper Life Drifter. Your presence will make the 67th annual Fashion Week an unforgettable experience. Get more info. Three days this time. We cordially invite you. Cloud Bank's popular tradition will be at its most spectacular with your support. Event size, eight square blocks, featuring more than yeah, 275 not? local and exotic brands. Aww. Uh, hey, can you read the R sections? Because that's actually the, the few times it's in her voice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, so, so yeah, at some of those terminals, you'll be able to actually, like, respond. Mm, and okay. otherwise... End of the plaza. Yeah. It's you. What is me? It's you. Oh, hey, it's me. I see a, a fly. I'm so sorry, Red. What? They took your voice. I couldn't stop them. They made you into a silent protagonist. Did of theirs. Did they not like? Hey, let's just go. Encrypt the voice. I let's just go. I just, amateur I hour. Just, yeah. I think they, in fact, did encrypt the voice. I don't know. We're going to find out. It's been a while since I played this game. It's been a, okay. Oh, but yeah, also don't die. Oh, yeah, backstab for best results. Uh, remember that um, 
Oh, God damn it. What's, what's your A called? Uh, crash. If you crash before you do another move, it will make your next move do more damage. Oh. And you can crash behind them. Yep. Can I hurt myself with a spark? No. Having said that, in general, Breach is more powerful than Spark. Although Spark doesn't take up much, so, you know, there's that. Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, this boss has moves. And it looks like the crash stays for like maybe two seconds. Oh shit. Yeah, you have to fight your your shadow, your former self. It's you have to fight your true self. What exactly is a shadow in the Persona verse, right? It's it's like your. It's I think it it varies based on the game, right? Yeah. So in Persona three, they were like I think the minds of the people who had the apathy virus or whatever, or they were like the wandering spirits, like perturbed by the experiments going on in Tartarus. That and sounds four, right. I think they were just part of like. Oh, we're the, getting deep in there. The, the uh, <laughs> just, it's just, just part of like some shit. It's kind of unclear to me because four, it was about like someone accessing reflections of themselves in the the whatever world. But then it gets to some weird um, like mythology stuff where you meet pe some people are gods and stuff. And then five, they're all uh, they're all shadows of people's selves. Well, no, they're they're Jungian archetypes of like. The Gestalt consciousness. That's that's exactly what I just said, Chaz. Uh -huh. Please don't. <laughs> that's word for word what I just said. So I think she's gonna teleport again. This young okay. lady. Also, something I would really like you to keep in mind uh, is that good music is for good people. And bad music us. is for evil people. Yes, there we go. And uh, yeah, you're good. Right? Are, are you hating her? I don't think you're hating her. Oh. Whoops. Oh, yeah. No, 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 that was a hit. All right, so, uh, collect them all. Collect them all. No, get them all, Chaz. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so if they don't go quick enough, then they turn into those guys? Yes. I see. Or sometimes they'll, um, it, it depends on the enemy. Other t Most enemy types will turn back into the enemy, but it, you'll have more time to grab them. That's particular to the young lady. And we'll fight multiple young women. That's yes. As as a young woman yourself, you, I suppose you're going to fight many young women. <laughs> All right. So to establish, we've killed random things and a young woman. Yes. Beast. Absolutely. Right. I think I know a place we could get a ride. Oh, okay. So is this like just like a, an AI helper? The like transistor Infinity style. Yeah. It's. The, it's it's your transistor. I don't know what that means. Does everyone have one? No. Or one like it? No. This didn't okay. used to be here. <laughs> okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Jazz. This, this is all I got for you right now. So. There you go. And then it's like, whoa, I didn't expect you to be able to run you that press like, the Mach right trigger. 5. Okay. Wow, shit, that guy's dead. Okay, so Moyle P, disposition elusive. Hey, processed. Mr. Moyle, you in there? Processed 82%. Oh, this is fun. I like this so far. Oh, yeah. So this is an important skill. Is it, is it also an attack? Go where it suits you. It right. can be. Good. Okay, go ahead and go into your tactics mode real quick. And just use it. I think you can aim it as well. That's wow. that's not it. That's it. That's... I don't think that's, that's it. That's 100% it. That's... I, well, I, I'm wrong sometimes. Even even I'm wrong sometimes. Do you think I want to be wrong on the channel? <laughs> on, on air? <laughs> on air? Jazz, I embarrass myself 24... Se well, I embarrass myself approximately 30 minutes a day, six days a week. Wow. That's a great many days. Oh, no. Uh, so, jo remember, jaunt is important. That's the name of your, of on, your dodge. Jaunt. Uh, this one won't disappear, by the way, so... You may want to undo that walking you just did, because you could probably get another crash, right? Okay, so... Also, Jaunt will take you much further for less resources than running. Also, remember backstabs. Okay, that's an interesting decision. 
I'm just kind of in there, which is cool. This is probably the most Bastion-esque enemy in the game. Yeah, and... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. And, uh... So that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. You might want to first jaunt to the other side to get those backstabs. Backstabs are important. It's 25 extra damage per hit. So before you do that... Oh, gosh. I, sorry, I keep thinking that jaunt looks a lot like spark. Some... Some people. So I should do stabs first. I should do yeah. one, two, and you, three, four, five. You can just crash, crash, crash. So is there any negative to it? Do, do I want overkill? Uh, overkill's good. Does that give me additional experience when it dies, or what does that mean? I what forget exactly what it does, but I'm pretty sure it either does something now or it will do something. Okay. So each of those are 75 for about two blocks, effectively? I believe so, yes. Compared to... Go, yeah, just go ahead and keep the first crash and then breach. And breach is... 225. Yep. And then, so is the combo increase the damage exponentially, right? So do I get diminishing returns every time, or is it always best to just maximize breaches? The combo is because of crash specifically. Okay, so crash combos. Yes, there are, there are other... Mm, there are other similar-ish things, but mostly just remember that crash's special thing is that it makes them uh, take more damage. That's crash's okay. special thing. Also, yay. Yay! You leveled up, so you <laughs> slam your transistor to the ground. So you get more functions. By the way, the, the things that you're using right now are functions. Okay. So now you get to choose. Do you want bounce or mask? Let's or not see. bounce. What's the other one? Uh, yeah, bounce. So it's a chain thing, right? What's the chain reactive effect? So it will hit from target to target, like those little guys, remember? Mm -hmm. Super good against those. It'll just annihilate them. Okay, and this will increase the potency most function of the backstabbing. Now, do I have to choose either an active or upgrade slot, or do I get to use one for both? You will... You can use a function in three... Uh, you can eventually use a function in three ways. You will only be able to use one at a time. Okay, so I, I will essentially either be able to use my upgrade or active. Yes. Now, it makes sense to me to choose for this point the upgrade slot, right? Because now we have a close combat... I agree. Long distance, area effect, and evasive thing. Those sure. are the four core skills. Yes. Um, I don't think the smog has been that much of an issue yet. Sure. I think I'm going to go with this. Sure. Also, um, keep in mind that you can conceal yourself and then add effects to that conceal. So you, yeah, go ahead and huh. go ahead and grab it. You'll see what's what's up, and you'll see why this has one of the coolest upgrade systems in games. Because mm, mm. you can upgrade things with themselves. I think you've talked to me about that before. Yes, yes. So go to the access point. Oh, come closer. Okay, you're in. I'm By the in. way, I like a lot of the UI things where it's like it is the transistor, um, and like the like it is your like your hand at the terminal and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's one of those cool little details that. that it's relatively easy to do, but a slick transition and a slick presentation like that is so much more effective than just a menu. Yeah. Right? So thinking back to even the Alone in the Dark remake for the Xbox, um, where you literally just <laughs> open up your uh, big stupid uh, trench coat and you it was cool. your pockets. It, it was, was neat. cool at the time. It was a neat conceit. All right. So uh, first, notice on the left, you have memory. You have 9 out of 16. Oh, shit. My RAM. I know. It, like, actually, though, it's actually your RAM. So... You have two two options here. You can either add a conceal effect to any of your four functions, or you can put conceal as one of your four functions and then add that other effect to one of your other functions. That was a sentence right there. So I could add a conceal effect to my jaunt. So I dash away and then go, I'm invisible. Go ahead and just uh, press A on conceal. Choose okay. a function to upgrade. It'll, it'll tell you what it does. Jaunt will briefly render the user undetectable. So you'll okay. jaunt, and then for 0.3 seconds, like, they don't see where you are. Interesting. So, quick, I'm going to make configuration options. I have my four equipped abilities, up to two unlockable pass or upgrade slots for each of those abilities. Yes. And then four, I assume, character upgrade slots, where we'll change the way passive. I interact. Passives. Perfect. Yes. So okay. con conceal, will eventually, you'll eventually be able to make that a passive function, which will do something different. And now being, uh, con different. being concealed, or being user stealth, does that just inherently increase my backstab damage? No, it does not. No, it does not. No. Okay. In that case, 
because I will already be in theory far enough away from them with that. It makes sense to me to combo it into crash because that will a start a combo and do more damage. Okay, but but hold on. Go mm -hmm. ahead and press B right now and equip conceal as a main function. Actually, I'm not I'm entirely sure how to B. do that. Uh, oh, I think it's tutorializing you. Go ahead okay. and press A. Congratulations, you've been tutorialized. Wow. Uh, so hit B. Um, hit X, and then hit X on, uh, oh. let's say, uh, spark. Spark, yeah. Sure. Now equip, equip not spark, but equip conceal. <laughs> okay. Yep, equip that. So oh. conceal the user's physical self, amplifying the next a action taken. So anytime you would use conceal, you have 6.3 seconds, and then your next action will do more damage. Okay, so go ahead and you know throw that on right now. Interesting. Now go to spark and put that. Let's see what would happen if you put that on something else. So mask will automatically launch a powered up spark when the effect ends. So you get up close, you bre uh, you breach them, and then as soon as you do that, it'll do more damage because you're concealed, and it'll also shoot sparks everywhere, doing even more damage. That's the kind of game this is, and it's really cool, and I like it. Okay, that's really cool. I will say that I'm liking all that I'm seeing. I would like for it to be a little bit quicker for me to see the different effects on things. Uh, well, I mean, the nice thing is that you can just back out of here and then you can just try it, right? So I, I, I recommend keeping a pretty standard build right now. So put that back on B. Fascinating. Right, and then take off conceal, put spark back on and throw conceal on the one you were gonna put it on. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so this is backstab damage is increased. And the nice thing about that is that it's just inherently increased, right? Yeah, you're not worrying about things. I can see where the adding the masks to different things could get to you some interesting shenaniganry. I think that's only I think that's much more powerful if you are able to add a second function. So for now, I I'd, I'd say just upgrade your backstab damage. And that's also good because it'll encourage you to get that backstab damage, right? Because it won't do more damage. It'll do more backstab damage. Okay. So then, really, I should always be trying to use whatever has the most base damage because it's a percental damage increase. So it should be on breach. Sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. Always remember, though, turn planning cost and call your grandma and, you know. Turn planning cost, does that affect it? No. It's the same. Oh, I'm I'm just saying, like the oh, in the long of, term, in the long term. Sure. Okay, Woo. Woo. just one more. Great. So that's going to be shots. happening every ten <laughs> minutes for the rest of this playthrough. So great for discussions. Yes. Oh, did you? Oh, by the way, look at this place. Like, this wow. place has been fucked up. Uh, also, you may not want to do that because I think if you just run into a, if you do that into a battle, it's like, all right, well, I guess you can wait for your bar to. To reload. Huh. Oh, they were like little flames. <laughs> I'm so fast. Boop. Yay! Okay. There's a. Wait. Back oh, back no. Back. oh no! Oh <laughs> no! It's a bigger one! Oh shit's processing. Uh, and so here we discovered that. Oh, by the way, this thing's actually called Jerk. Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> and so every time they level up, they also get a new skill. So it's not just they do more damage. So, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, no, you're jaunting. God damn it. And you generally want to jaunt as far as you can, I would say. And yeah, you can just kind of, yep, really get in there. There you go. That's great. Probably not going to. Not... Just to be behind cover, right? Well, remember, the jerk doesn't shoot you. The creeps are going to oh, shoot you. Do I you. know that? You Well... Congratulations, you know that. <laughs> Great. The so creeps then, will shoot you. So then I should go. I should be over here then. The jerk will still stomp you, though. And you are going to want to grab that creep that you just killed. Or, wait, never mind. It's not killed. Oh. Okay. Well, also, can't believe you've done that. can't believe you've done this to me. Uh, you'll want to left trigger out of there because you have a little bit of walking at the beginning. I right? See. I see. Yeah, you're, you're constantly going to want to look at that bar and be like, did I fuck up? Because it's a good start. I should do that. Sure. Uh, then I should. God, Brian and I played Baba is You recently. <laughs> it's a good game. It's a very good game. And it consisted entirely of me going, no, Brian, you fucked up. Every, every like, 
minute or so. <laughs> like, Brian, that's a fuck up. <laughs> Alright, really stay away. Yeah, also, you'll notice the jerk has gotten larger. So, in this scenario, I would say just walk behind it. Because you really want to kill that jerk. That's... The creep will do a small amount of damage to you. Hmm. See, now go ahead and try again. Because if you get behind it, you can backstab it and you'll end up killing it instead of leaving it with 15 health. Yep, you crashed. There you go. Perfect. Yes. Interesting. Neat. And, and then, you know. So you should never be, um... They're gone, but... Fighting so not in tactical alive. mode. Yes, pretty much. Okay. Yes. This this game is a tactical ass tactical mode game. <laughs> Fuck you, walls. Yeah, good call. Wheels mm, detected. Mm. Bike. Come closer. Condition like new. So is there is there um, a bike combat? Bike. Uh, Persona Four style. Um, you you upgrade your social links while on the bike. Okay. Good. E sixty four on ramp. Five blocks down. Take the second. That's a little like Art Deco thing. Left. It's like Cyberpunk yes. Art Deco, but they've used That's only awesome. pastel colors. Yes, like this is the sort of cyber world that I want, where it's gaudy as shit. It's so gaudy. <laughs> oh, you can hold A. Thought we were gonna oh. down. I can. Try right. help. Yeah, try it. We're going back there. Oh snap! You oh. meant these things. They do not have a sense of humor. Dude, I fuck. Track you down. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. fight Mothra. Take whatever's left of me. Mm. No, but you'll essentially fight the, the Mothra. Those the owners of the city because they have an evil logo. Yes, oh, and they look cool as fuck. They do look super. They are they are the big bads. <laughs> Don't let me go. Don't let him go. Oh, so that must be the voice of the guy we started by killing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or at least you pulled the transistor out of. Mm -hmm. The t the transistor had one kill on it. I don't I forget if you actually killed him or <laughs> poor bike. I'm assuming we did. That way it's a dramatic revelation, right? A dr we say revelation for short. I can just go back. Can you? You always run that fast. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah. oh, also just Shit, cyber roads. Look, go go back the other way before you hit the enemy carriage. Just look at the trail on on the transistor as she drags it on the ground. Oh, yeah. Like you know that cool thing where you have the big sword and you're running towards the dude and sparks are flying. That's the that's the default state of that's, the transistor. That's standard, but cyber sparks. Cyber sparks. That shit all crazy at right angles. Ah, oh, it's so it's cool. Nuts. All right. This is this is kind of like Gears of War. You like like oh no, waste high cover. <laughs> Okay, so this is now level two with three cutting beams. It's a creep 2.0. Uh, yes. Oh, watch out for the creep, uh, the bad cell. Oh, does it explode? I, I forget. Chaz, uh, we've already reached the point where you will be asking me. Oh, oh, so, so, the, um, the way spark works, by the way, is that it explodes at the point it, like that, like you'll hit a point and it'll explode. Ah. So okay. unlike breach, which will breach. Sure, 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 sure. This yeah, yeah. simply sparks things. Um, Go ahead. I forget what the bad cells are. Maybe not. Oh, I see. So bad cells are just enemies that are going to spawn. Um, you know, I think, yeah, and then getting behind, yeah, right, okay. So then I should step behind me. Yes. I should breach behind me. Perfect. There you go. Then I should leave that because that'll help you recharge quicker. Uh, yes. Yes, it, it, that's correct. If you don't use all your action, that's fine. It'll help you respawn faster. Well, not respawn, but essentially respawn. By the way, did I mention this game has a good soundtrack? You hadn't, but now that you mention it. <laughs> wow. That's a bad, bad sell. Because, like, there's just this general aesthetic, like, Supergiant, like, they really fucking nailed it. And they could they could easily ride this aesthetic for a long time. 
Oh, it's Junction Wands. Uh, go. <laughs> Satisfaction's guaranteed 38. Go ahead and press A. Not a soul. Hardly recognize this place without the foot traffic. That's where we used to sing. Uh, probably. Uh, I think up and to the right is but look, there's non critical terminal. All right, so remember, you're reading red. Foods, ready to eat four. Mm -hmm. Must be starving. Hungry? Grab a bite. Satisfy your craving with a complimentary Junction Jan's gourmet flatbread. Sea monsters really the only choice here. Yes. You will be delivery in eight minutes. Have a good one. Oh, it's just JJ. I'm not. I'm not. Junction oh. Jan's. Oh, but. <laughs> What a line, you know? Like, like imagine being like a protagonist so much that you're like some like deadly, deadly enemies approach and you just go, they're hungry too. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's a creep. Again, you might just want to like run behind them sometimes. I guess the jaunt is better in that case. Yeah. ABJ. Always, always, always be Junction always be Janning. Junction Janning. <laughs> yeah. I, I, for, I really forget what the overkill gets you. Uh, by the way, we haven't unlocked it yet, but I will spoil you right now. Great. By saying, uh, I hope you check out the next episode, everybody. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to hear us discuss the micromanaging of equipment more, consider donating to our Patreon, click, clicking in the description or the end card. This, this, this equipment isn't going to micromanage itself, everyone. Mm, nope. Bye. Left ourselves open. Left themselves open. Or see from the flat breath. <laughs> <laughs>